Hello everyone, it's Yvette with Polished After 60. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about sleep. So if you're interested in that subject, which is near and dear to my heart, stay tuned and I'll be right back. Hold up. Alrighty, everyone, welcome. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with me, my name is Yvette. The channel is Polished After 60, and I go over topics for the more mature uh, individual. And in today's video, I thought that we would discuss the topic of sleeping and how important it is for us. Um, for those of us who are 65 and older, we require about seven to eight hours a day uh, to help maintain our health and uh, make sure that we are well rested. And I know some of us struggle with the, uh, with the topic of sleeping. Um, I myself uh, sometimes struggle with insomnia, so I thought that I would give you some tips on how you can get a better night's sleep. And before I get into that, I did want to show you a pillow that I was recently gifted by Zamot. Zamot. And uh, this pillow is meant to uh, help support our neck and our shoulders to offer a good night's sleep. Let me um, show you the pillow. It has what's called Blue Dot technology that will help align our neck and our shoulders so that we are properly um, aligned for a good night's rest. So I'll show you that in just a moment. And um, Zamut has kindly uh, offered a discount code for any of you who might be interested uh, with the code Yvette. Um, you will get a 15% discount on any pillow or uh, products that they have on their website. So without further ado, uh, there are a lot of things that we can do to try to help promote a good night's rest. And like I said, we require between seven and eight hours a night uh, to help uh, maintain a healthy body. Now, a lack of sleep can cause a lot of different health issues. Um, it can cause cardiovascular disease, uh, diabetes, um, anxiety and depression. So uh, making sure that we sleep well is important to our overall health. And some things that we might do to help promote that is um, one of the things is lowering the temperature at night between 60 to 67 degrees is optimal for a good night's rest. Now, I know that I lower my thermostat every night. Now, I like to keep my house cool, but in the nighttime, I lower it to about 68 degrees. So I might try pulling it down one degree further to see if that helps me. Also screen time, guys. We are addicted to our phones, our devices, our TV, and uh, we wanna try to limit that um, as it gets closer to our bedtime. And establishing a good bedtime is important for us. Try to establish a time each night where you go to sleep, give yourself about 35 to 40 minutes to wind down turn off your devices, maybe pick up a good book and uh, take a read at it the old fashioned way. And um, those are a couple of things that will help us. Now, I thought that I would show you the pillow before I go any further. And like I said, this has blue dot technology that um, helps to cradle our head and place us in the correct position. Any type of sleeper can use this. A back sleeper, if you sleep on your side like I do, and if you sleep on your stomach, I can't sleep on my stomach at all. I can't, I can't even for a second sleep on my stomach. But it's meant 
to cradle the head and also it has these supports on the side where you can place your arms at night to make it more comfortable for you. It's also covered with this pillowcase that um, has a zip at the back so that you can remove it and launder it. And uh, it is a bamboo pillowcase, so it's nice and soft against your face at night. And guys, um, it's said that if we sleep on our backs, it can help with any type of um, creases or folds that we get. You know, sometimes just sleeping on our side will create those folds in our skin that we want to kind of... Um, eliminate if we can. I don't know. I try sleeping on my back sometimes and it's very difficult for me. But um, let me go ahead and I'm going to put you on pause if I can find my little clicker and I'm going to come back and lie down on the pillow so that you can take a look. So hold on guys. I will be right back. Hold on. Maybe. Hold on. All right, everyone, I'm back. So here is my Zemut pillow, and I'm going to show you how I position myself to, um, with the uh, technology of this pillow to help me get a good night's sleep, all right? So, the blue dot helps to cradle your head and support your shoulders so that you get so that you're nice and comfortable for a good night's sleep all right i mentioned that i was a side sleeper so it has these little indentations here on the side of the pillow that you can use to support your arms during sleeping like this and um, I'm not even gonna try to sleep on my stomach because I just can't do it, guys. I just can't. So hold on and I'm gonna give you some more tips. Um, but remember, they're offering you a 15% discount if you're interested in any of their products, all right? And the discount code is EVET, just as I've indicated across the screen or across the screen. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Hold on. Zoe is over here. She wanted to climb up in bed with me because um, she thinks she has to sleep with me and guard me each and every night. So anyway, um, other things to consider when you're um, preparing for bedtime is, of course, the pillow. As I mentioned, a good, comfortable mattress is key. If your mattress is sagging a little bit, you might want to get a topper to help support you a little bit better. They say a medium firmness um, mattress is what we should all be using. So if you're in the market for a new mattress, keep that in mind. And if your mattress, um, if you can't replace your mattress, then perhaps a topper uh, will help you um, to get a more comfortable sleep. The bed clothes that we sleep in, guys, is very important. Um, natural fibers are always good because they help um, to maintain a good uh, body temperature. I usually sleep in cotton. That is the best for me. And I think I've shown these pajamas before, but um, nice, comfortable pajamas that fit you well, that aren't so baggy that they cause any kind of binding around your legs because, you know, during the night as you move, um, sometimes they get caught up in between our legs and then, you know, it causes us to wake up, right? So other things, um, try to go outside and get a little bit of daylight. Um, it's important that we get the proper amount of daylight and evening light as well so that our body develops a good rhythm and understands the difference between nighttime and daytime so that we can sleep well. Yoga, meditation, and mindfulness is also very good to help us uh, 
reduce the stress in our bodies and help us fall asleep easier. I am going, I have an app on my phone. It's called Insight Timer and it has all kinds of guided meditations that will help you fall asleep. And I'll put the link um, for that below as well. And just establishing a good nighttime routine that your body gets used to. Try to go to bed every night at the same time and establish some kind of routine, routine for yourself. It's said that if we um, bathe or shower in warm water before you go to bed and you don't want to make it too close to your bedtime all right but um, at least an hour before you plan to go to sleep go ahead and take a little warm bath um, try to stay in the bath for about 10 minutes or so and that will help um, reduce the stress in your body help relax you so that you can have a good night's sleep. So I am also going to link below some tips on how to, I think it's 20 tips that will um, help you in establishing a good sleeping routine. All right. So guys, um, pleasant dreams and thank you Zamet for um, gifting me this pillow and for offering you guys a 15% discount. All right. Pleasant dreams, everyone. And I will be seeing you again real soon. Bye, everyone.